I was born 87 years ago. For 65 years, I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. But for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness, a doom sweeps the land. This is the 27th of Last Seed, the year of Akatosh 433. These are the closing days of the Third Era and the final hours of my life.
You, kinsman. I haven't seen another Dunmer in here, and I don't know how long. Where are you from, huh? Vardenfell? You got a wife back home? Tell you what, I'm getting out of here in a couple of weeks. When I get back to Morrowind, I'll look her up. She must be so lonely. Don't you worry, eh? I'll take care of her long after you're dead. Oh, that's right. You're going to die in here. Hey, you hear that? The guards are coming. For you. <laughs> Boris, lock that door behind us. Yes, sir. My sons, they're dead, aren't they? We don't know that, sire. The messenger only said they were attacked. No, they're dead. I know it. My job right now is to get you to safety. What's this prisoner doing here? This cell is supposed to be off limits. The usual mix up with the watch. I. Never mind. Get that gate open. Stand back, prisoner. We won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. No sign of pursuit, sir. Stay put, prisoner. Good. Let's go. We're not out of this yet. You. I've seen you. Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. Then the stars were right. And this is the day. Gods give me strength. Assassins attacked my sons, and I am next. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. By chance, the entrance to that escape route leads through your cell. Perhaps the gods have placed you here so that we may meet. As for what you have done, it does not matter. That is not what you will be remembered for. I am your emperor, Uriel Septim. By the grace of the gods, I serve Tamriel as her ruler. You are a citizen of Tamriel, and you too shall serve her in your own way. You will find your own path. Take care. There will be blood and death before the end. Please, sire, we must keep moving. Better not close this one. There's no way to open it from the other side. This is official business. Do not interfere. Looks like this is your lucky day. Just stay out of our way. Don't get too close. Close up left. Protect the Emperor. Put down. Put down. I'm just warming up. Your best is Protect the Emperor. Your destiny holds you down a different road. for the Empire. Captain Reno. She's dead. They'd be waiting for us here. Don't know, but it's too late to go back now. Don't worry, sire. We will get you out of here. They won't be the first to underestimate the blade. There's trouble ahead. I'll take point. Let's move. You stay here, prisoner. Don't try to follow us.
defensible spot and protect the Emperor until help arrives. Help? What makes you think help will get here before more of those bastards? We need to get here the Emperor out again. of here. Take them down! Damn it! It's that prisoner again! Kill him! He might be working with the... No, he is not one of them. He can help us. He must help us. They cannot understand why I trust you. They've not seen what I've seen. How can I explain? Listen, you know the Nine, how they guide our fates with an invisible hand. I've served the Nine all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. The signs I read show the end of my path. My death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. Your stars are not mine. Today the maid shall light your way on the paths of glory. No trophies of my triumphs precede me, but I have lived well, and my ghost shall rest easy. Men are but flesh and blood. They know their doom, but not the hour. In this I am blessed to see the hour of my death, to face my apportioned fate, then fall. My dreams grant me no opinions of success. Their compass ventures not beyond the doors of death. But in your face I behold the sun's companion, the dawn of Akatosh's bright glory may banish the coming darkness. With such hope, and with the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. I go to my grave. A tongue shriller than all the music calls me. You shall follow me yet for a while. Then we must part. You may as well make yourself useful here. Carry this torch and stick close. Stick close and let us do our job, and you'll be all right.
Hold up. I don't like this. Let me take a look. Looks clear. Come on. We're almost through to the sewers. is barred from the other side. A trap! What about that side passage back there? Worth a try. Let's go. It's a dead end. What's your call, sir? I don't know. I don't see any good options here. They're behind us! Wait here, sire. Wait here with the Emperor. Guard him with your life. Watch for your back, the Emperor! Ah, long burn the dragon fires! I can go no further. You alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal servants. He must not have the Amulet of Kings. Take the amulet. Give it to Joffrey. He alone knows where to find my last son. Find him and close shut the jaws of oblivion. <laughs> Strangers, you chose a bad day to take me. For the Emperor! <laughs> <laughs> We failed. I failed. The Blades are sworn to protect the Emperor, and now he and all his heirs are dead. The amulet. Where's the amulet of kings? It wasn't on the Emperor's body. Strange. He saw something in you. Trusted you. They say it's the dragon blood that flows through the veins of every septum. They see more than lesser men. The amulet of kings is a sacred symbol of the Empire. Most people think of the red dragon crown, but that's just jewelry. The amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it, they say. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? Joffrey, he said that? Why? Nothing I ever heard about, but Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory, near the city of Coral. First, you need to get out of here. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City, or it was supposed to be secret. Here, you'll need this key for the last door into the sewers. There are rats and goblins down there. But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced bard. Am I right?
Really? I would never have guessed. Still, I don't think you'll have any trouble with rats and goblins. You must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne in Priory immediately. Got it? Good. The Emperor's trust was well placed. I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You'd better get moving. May Talos guide you. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? This cannot be. No one but the Emperor is permitted to handle the amulet. Let me see it. By the Nine, this is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? 
As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. His meaning is unclear to me as well. The Emperor seemed to perceive some threat from the demonic world of Oblivion. The Prince of Destruction, Merun's Dagon, is one of the Lords of Oblivion. But the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the emperor was aware of. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time he would ask about the child's progress. Now it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply travelling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. Have pity on an old war veteran. How do you do? Hi there. Welcome to a... F Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. That's a fair deal. That's more an excellent. Tell your friends. Let's get to training. Farewell. Come on, run while there's still time. The guard still holds the road, but it's only a matter of time before they're overwhelmed. God's blood. You don't know, do you? Deidre overran Kvach last night. There were glowing portals outside the walls, gates to oblivion itself. There was a huge creature, something out of a nightmare, came right over the walls, blasting fire that... Swarmed around it, killing. Go and see for yourself. Kvach is a smoking ruin. We're all that's left. Do you understand me? Everyone else is dead. 
It was Savly and Matthias. Some of the other guards helped some of us escape. They cut their way out right through the city gates. Savlian says they can hold the road. No, no, I don't believe him. Nothing can stop them. If you'd seen it, you'd know. I'm getting out of here before it's too late. They'll be here any minute, I'm telling you. Run when you can. I've looked everywhere. Perhaps she's still in Kavach in a basement hiding. It's possible. Or maybe she got out and she's looking for you too. Stand back, civilian. This is no place for you. Get back to the encampment at once. We lost the damned city. That's what happened! It was too much. Too fast. We were overwhelmed. Couldn't even get everyone out. There are still people trapped in there. Some made it to the chapel, but others were just run down in the streets. The Count and his men are still holed up in the castle. And now we can't even get back into the city to help them! With that damned oblivion gate blocking the way. The only thing we can do... We'll try to hold our ground, that's what. If we can't hold this barricade, those beasts could march right down and overrun the encampment! I have to try and protect the few civilians that are left. It's all I can do now. You want to help? You're kidding, right? Hmm. If you're serious, maybe I can put you to use. It'll likely mean your death, though. Are you sure? I don't know how to close this gate, but it must be possible, because the enemy closed the ones they opened during the initial attack. You can see the marks on the ground where they were, with the great gate right in the middle. I sent men into the gate to see if they could find a way to shut it. They haven't come back. If you can get in there, find out what happened to them. If they're alive, help them finish the job. If not, see what you can do on your own. The best I can say is good luck. If you make it back alive, we'll be waiting for you. Good luck. It's a brave thing. Thank the Nine. I never thought I'd see another friendly face. The others... taken. They were taken to the tower. Captain Mattias sent us in to try and close the gate. We were ambushed, trapped, and picked off. I managed to escape, but the others are strewn across that bridge. They took many and off to the big tower. You've got to save him. I'm getting out of here. The captain is still holding the barricade. I figured I was the last one left alive. All right. 
I'll try to get out of here. Let the captain know what's going on. Over here! You should not be here, mortal! Your blood is forfeit! 
Your flesh is mine! In the cave! Oh. Over here! Quickly, quickly, there's no time. You must get to the top of the large tower. The sigil key, they call it. That's what keeps the oblivion gate open. Find the sigil stone. Remove it and the gate will close. Hurry! The keeper has the key. You must get the key.
How could the Nine let this happen? You closed the gate. I knew you could do it. This is our chance to launch a counterattack. I need you to come with us. You've got far more combat experience than these men. Are you able to join us now? I can wait, but not for long. We've got to move quickly, before they have a chance to barricade the city gate. The longer we wait, the smaller our window of opportunity. Get ready, and do it quickly. We've got to move soon. <laughs> 